Rocking Road Show, the only show for bikers, by bikers. Jump on as we talk all things motorcycle, maintenance, accessories, weekly rides, bike nights, and more. With your hosts, Alfie and the One Three. So kick stands up and let's get rolling. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Rock and Road Show. I am Alvy. I'm the one three, baby. Wow, you just yelled that at everybody. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's really weird because I've got you in my head and I've got the uh, the show in my head, and and it's like Mute the show. I just did. I know it's like oh, delay. Okay, I was gonna say, dude, that'll you're gonna be a stuttering fool if you don't fix that. <laughs> Crazy, man. What's up, Connie? What's up, HD, man? Good to have you guys with us tonight. Uh, um, yeah, so welcome to the show. Thanks for hanging out. As always, uh, we are, well, I, as I say, as always, but uh, tonight we are live like we have been the last couple of uh, shows. Uh, right. Everybody seems to like the uh, the live format, so we'll switch it up on, you know, on everybody. You never know what you're going to get. It's either going to be live or or uh, or not. The good thing is, is I think... Um, this very well might be, if not the last, one of the last uh, shows that we do separate like this. So, uh, Oh, my gosh. We'll, you mean we'll I'll be able to, be finally, able to look? Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to look at each other. We'll be able to have the, uh, the good camera. Uh, we'll get back to our, uh, the way we do things on this show. So, uh, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we'll, get the, uh, we'll pay the bills first, and then we'll yes. kind of get into the show. And we'll see what happens from there. So, um, as always, we're brought to you by Misfit Metalworks. Uh, Misfit Metalworks offers CNC plasma cutting, iron welding, metal fabrication, and prototyping services, as well as laser engraving. Uh, contact the Misfits for all your metal needs at 813-598-7409. Or you can stop by the shop at 1913 East Bears Avenue, Unit 1100B in Tampa, Florida. And as always, let them know that we sent you guys. Right, but don't stop by now. <laughs> right. They're, well, they're closed. They're closed right now, and don't stop or stop by until next week sometime. All right, so as you all also know, it's brought to you by Eric Warren Artistry and Dropkick Customs. Eric Warren Artistry is a custom paint and fabrication studio specializing in turning custom dreams into reality. EWA offers a one-stop shop for all your paint, metal, fiberglass needs, welding, powder coating, motorcycle stereo equipment, air ride systems, and custom wheels and parts development now with their Epic Motor Line. It's freaking awesome. Uh, contact Eric Warren at 813-503-4764. Or stop by his shop after this stuff goes away at 13215 North Nebraska Avenue, Suite A, Tampa, Florida, 33612. Wow. Let him know the Rock and Road Show sent you. Peace. I got that uh, one down. <laughs> awesome. So now that that's out of the way, um, yes, yeah, so uh, like we were saying um, – this will probably be one of the last shows that we do uh, in this format. We'll be back to uh, the normal way of uh, you guys seeing us. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, I just spoke with, uh, with one three today and we are finally um, in the process of now we're going to start filming our uh, second show idea. Um, we've, we've kind of talked about that. So uh, we're yep. finally going to start filming, start uh, first of all, get the intro filmed up and ready to go. And then uh, we've got all of our uh, stops that we want to do lined up. So we're going to get all that taken care of. So, uh, man, you know, we were hoping that this was already going to be out uh, by May because that was the deadline that, that we had put on each other. Yep. 
And uh, yeah, unfortunately, as we all know, uh, the world shut down. <laughs> Pretty much so, everybody. It's crazy. Um, so because of that, uh, everything got a, got put to the uh, to the back burner. So yep. uh, so hopefully now that everything's kind of starting to loosen up, we'll be able to uh, to start filming that, get it edited up, and have things ready to go here uh, shortly. So uh, I'm still thinking probably two or three months to get that whole project kind of launched and going. Um, so bear with us on that, but it is coming. We're looking forward to it. We can't wait to bring it to you guys. So, yeah. Um, I mean, the only thing that's really going to change is just how we do things. We're still going to do this show as well yeah, or, absolutely. Or for now. So you're going to see us live every now and then, and we're going to have this format, but we're just doing something else. It's trust me. You guys will like it. Yeah. Absolutely. You'll like it. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so before we going to get, before we kind of get into the meat of the show in the context of the show, uh, I do want to say um, we are uh, we're working with a um, a new sponsor of sorts. We're going to talk about uh, talk about her towards the end of the show today. Yes. Um, but um, through our uh, through our work together, um, we are going to get uh, we've got some giveaways to give away. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to test the Rocking Road Show family and we're going to uh we're going to basically test your knowledge on the show that you watch tonight. Um so we're going to we're going to talk about some things today. Yep. And at the end of the show, so we're not going to tell you what it is. There's going to be a keyword in the show. And what's going to happen is at the end of the show, me or the one three is going to ask the question, what is the keyword for the show today? Uh, and we'll ask it in a way that, you know, it's going to be obvious. And whoever is the first person to um, to comment the answer and get it right will get one of the free giveaways, which we'll talk. We'll show the giveaways here at the end of the show. But um, but yeah, so pay attention to the show today. Uh, just some things that that uh, we wanted to do uh, to one, introduce uh, a new friend of ours to you guys. We've we've talked about her in the past, but. Uh, but and somebody that we've used um, over the over the last you know year or so. So absolutely. Um, so with that, with that, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> so uh, so with that, um, many of you guys uh, followed you know follow the uh, the Facebook, and um, we know that uh, the one three and the one four went on a little ride this weekend, or at least. They tried to go on a ride this weekend. We did. We did. Um, it was actually, and this is funny because it was uh, Saturday night. We said, hey, let's go have a picnic. Okay. So we decided to do that and we packed everything up and we got everything together. Sa Sunday morning, get the bikes out, get them ready to roll. We're leaving. I don't know. We, we planned on 930, but we went ahead and left at nine because we were ready early. It's just crazy. I, we don't ever get ready early. We're always the one people are waiting on. <laughs> we're, we're still on island time, you know, 15 yeah. years after being off the island. <laughs> it's okay. We're allowed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, we went ahead and we got on the bikes. Everything was, you know, checked them out, did my pre-flight checklist on everything. You know, um, both bikes were in great running order, you know, so uh -huh. get on them, get on them, go start riding, go get gas. Uh, we go up towards Bellamy Brothers. And uh, I don't know if y'all know where Bellamy Brothers is, but uh, it's a really cool little ride. They got some nice S turns and stuff. And I think it turns into Cold Breath up a little bit farther. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, so we're about uh, 20 some 30 miles away. Um, I look in my mirror and my wife's gone. One through four is like gone. And I, I mean, I really wasn't going that fast. We're doing 55 and she was right, like right with me the whole time. Right. So I start to panic right. and uh, I slow down. I'm, I'm all the way down and I'm coming up to a stop sign at, uh, I think it's Cold Breath and Powell. And I'm looking back and uh, here she comes, slow, 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 slow. She goes, you know, the rear end started to slide out on me. And I was like, what? <laughs> and uh, I looked down, sure enough, flat tire. Oh my gosh. She, you know, 50 miles an hour, that thing going around a corner. She could have lost it. She did the right thing. She she held it, kept everything everything in control. So did it, did it uh was it full on flat or was it 
it was three quarters flat at that point. So wow. I told her, yeah, it was down. Wow. So I told her, let's go over over uh, Powell and right down there, there's a dead end road. Uh, let's just go over the road and, and park right there. Got so it. we parked in the shade, hung out there. Um, she, uh, it was an, it was a right hand turn with us in the right lane. So if she did go down, she was going down in the, in the road and not in the uh, grass, which would have been really bad. Right. Right. Um, but Hey, I just wanted to say hi to uh, my brother-in-law, Mike Kaus just joined. Us. <laughs> hey, my, and Phil's with us too. Phil just joined us. Yeah. I see Phil and JC. And that's cool. Um, so anyway, uh, she did, she held it under control and got everything there. But literally as soon as we stopped the bike, it went right to the rim. Really? Yeah. So we figure within one mile, she went from, you know, 40 some PSI to nothing. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was bad. I don't know what it was yet. Um, oh, so you guys, you guys, you didn't take it anywhere yet? No, no. I, I know it's a tube tire. See, I know that. Uh, so something could have happened inside, you know, maybe right. she got a slice. Uh, I got I am going to take it. I think we're going to take it to Barney's. Um, I did call Tampa Triumph, our buddy over there, uh, Bobby uh, Sanchez and uh, Don, who, by the way, are freaking amazing. Um, they they said go ahead and you know they you, they gave us a really good price to do this. So yeah, I'm going to take it to uh, Barney's and have them take you know 195 rear tire mounted. Wait, to try Tampa gotta, Triumph? No, no, I'm, I got to take it to Barney's. Uh, oh, he, okay. He said, you know, he'd have to order the tire at Tampa Triumph, and he says, you know what, we'll be right about the same price, but gotcha. okay. it's going to be a delay, so just take it to Barney's. And I was gotcha. like, that's cool. Cool. I appreciate that. The guy was really cool because I wanted to take him my Harley as well. He said, dude, he said, I'd have to charge you too much <laughs> to, do, <laughs> to do the Harley. You know, he said, I, I need to change my oil. Charge and, you more uh, than the Harley dealership. That's crazy. Yeah, well, because he's going to have to walk next door <laughs> to, get all, to get all the stuff <laughs> to get the parts. He says, and then and then the way his system works, it's going to jack it up. And I said, dude, I totally understand. It's all yeah, yeah, for sure, absolutely. So, so I'll probably just end up doing that myself. I was, I was just trying to say, to... I need I need to do mine too. So maybe we make it a a, a weekend deal or something. I think so. I think yeah. so. Um, yes, uh, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he says thanks. No, glad no accident, which I agree. Yeah, uh, because uh, she it, it would have been bad. It would have been real ugly. Um, glad she control uh, kept it under control. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, so we just sat there and ate our lunch and had uh, sandwiches and had soda and water. Made sure we drank some water while we waited for our buddy Dan to come pick us up. So yeah, and and uh, yeah, so Dan had a, a trailer that. Uh well, funny thing is, he does not have a trailer. And I was like, oh, is that right? I thought he did. Um, so he called a buddy of his named Eric, who happens to live at the very first curve on um, coming up uh, um, Bellamy Brothers. Really? You go, yeah, you literally go right up to that curve, go into his driveway, and he owns a couple acres in there. And uh, that's, that's where I got the trailer from. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So That's Eric, awesome. thank you for loaning me the trailer. <laughs> Dan Lindbergh, thank you very much for uh for coming to pick us up. Uh and um Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was just it was a good time. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, man. we 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 did. We made the best time that we could. Well, you know, I mean that's all you can do, right? You 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 finally you know, you finally get yourself out of the house during all this shit. Yeah. And you know, and of course this happens. So it's like, well, shit, you know, <laughs> but, but you gotta, you gotta make the best of it. If you can't, then what's the point, you know? Oh yeah. And, and it was, it was fun. I mean, I, even though, you know, it was her bike, she was smiles, you know, she just said, well, I guess I wasn't supposed to ride today. Yeah. And, and that's it. You know, <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, you gave me, a, you gave me a shout I don't know if it was that. I think it was that morning. You sent me a text that morning. Yes, I did. And, I wanted uh, you to go. Yeah, and it was funny because um, I was uh, I was a wee bit hungover. Um, yeah, and that's not what you told me. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> by a <laughs> wee bit, me, I mean. You, you were a 
lot hung over was, you. Tell it's kind of like the story about the uh, the guy that you know that that ran into the uh, the Marine Seven. He had he had a little bit of drugs in him. That, that oh, was me. I was a little bit hung over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, yeah. So so me and Kim we we spent our weekend you know just uh, playing uh, playing cornhole and and drinking and sitting in the hot tub and drinking some more and watching music and drinking some more. So yeah, by the time I I, I kind of you know. I passed out and then woke up the next morning. It was just like, oh, I feel like passed crap. Out and, and then, no, 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 I, you know, laid down. And yeah, but anyhow, uh, but no, I saw that text and I was just like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting on a motorcycle <laughs> right now. It's not going to happen. Uh, and then, you know, and then, you know, not, not even an hour later, I see your post on Facebook. It's like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> not, not, hey, no, you know, nothing against you guys, but. I'm kind of glad I was hung over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Would have been a very short ride. So yeah. anyway, that was our picnic ride. So that's what we had going. So that's, hey, look, that's cool, guess, guess who just joined us? Yeah. Who's that? The one four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, like Phil said, first of all, um, you know, thank God nothing, you know, nothing did happen and that, right. uh, and that she was able to, to keep the bike up and, and uh, everything, you know, everything worked out. And Absolutely. unfortunately, yeah, you know, it, we've all we've all had those we've all had those rides where you, you you head out and it's just like I wasn't supposed to ride today. I guess this is I, we're just gonna pack this thing in and we'll go home and we'll try again next week yep. or a week after whatever it ends up being. But um, but cool, you know, I'm glad everything glad everything worked out and um, and hey, there's there's always next week. There's always next week. There is. Well, you know what? Uh, once I get her her tire, you know, I got to take. I think I'm gonna take it off this weekend and and get it over there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my own oil. Shake. Um, I got all three fluids to change. You know, so yeah, clutch and everything. So I'll do everything. So, um, um <laughs> she, she says made, made her. Butt butt. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it did. That's not a that's not a fun feeling, man. When when. Uh, when the tail end of a bike gets a little, you know, away from you, squirrely or whatever, that's just, it, it never feels good. Um, I mean, that's like when we were, where were we going? We were going to, um, I think it was, we, all of us were going to the expo, not, not, not this past year, but the year before. Right. And, uh, and I got on my bike and started heading out and was going to meet you guys at the Seven Eleven, And, um, I pulled out of it. I pulled out of my house and I was like, oh, something doesn't feel right. Same thing. Back end, just kind of. Right. Just loose, you know, loosey goosey. And uh, sure shit. And I get to the uh, get to the gas station and it's, you know, damn near on the rim there. So. Yeah. Well, um, and, and that's that's the thing. That's. <clears throat> and what did I tell you when you got to there? I said, did you do. Come on, well, finish it. Well, I, you know, yeah, did I do the pre-flight? And no, I didn't. And, you know, and not not for not, but even if I had done a pre-flight on it, I would have had to ride it up to the gas station anyways. I didn't, it, you know, I didn't have an air compressor at the time. So Correct. But I you have one now. You, you would have been aware. Right, right. And, and you wouldn't have tried, you know, what do we do when we get on the bike? We lean, you know? Yeah. Yeah. See, how far can well, I lean know, this and, sucker? And the other, the other side of that, too, is I wouldn't have, I would have, I would have been prepared, but the other side of it is I wouldn't have put Kim on the back. I would have just rode the bike myself up yes. to the gas station, put air in it, went back, picked her up, and then went on with the day. But, yes. Um, but yeah, so so springboarding off of that, we're talking about you know pre-flighting your bikes and 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 you know keeping it up on two wheels and things like that. That segues really nicely into our next topic, which is uh, May, and May is Motorcycle May. Safety Awareness Month. Yes, it is. Yes, it um, is. It feels like, God, it feels like we had this, we, we talked about this yesterday, but it was last year. It was absolutely last you year know? about I mean, we did, the same we time. Did a, yeah. We did a really long, I think, piece on motorcycle safety uh, I think last, it was, uh, last year. Right. I th it was a whole show almost. I mean. Yeah, it, almost it, a whole show, if not, a, if not definitely, a, you know, a full, like probably 30 minutes or so. But uh, yeah. so we won't, we won't really get into the weeds on this, but. Um, you know, there's a couple of things. First of all, um, this whole, you know, this whole Corona thing and everything else with us being locked in the, in the house for so long, um, time has flown by, dude. 
Like, I don't know if you, you know, feel the same way or not, but it's like, holy fuck, it's already May. Well, here's the thing about the time flying by. Um, you guys, and I say you guys, um, all of you. Um, hey, Jim, how you doing? You all are, most of you are, stay, are staying at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm myself. Right, right. I'm sure I'm everybody every who's day been work, working so. probably feels differently about that. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 kind of dragging a little bit. It's, you know, doing its thing. But I tell you what, I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, I do work in a hospital. I see everything that's going on. Uh, I'm going to say that I, I believe it's public information. I hope so anyway, because I know that we had several positive cases at the hospital. Yeah. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I think uh, a couple uh, fatalities, but not that was it. And, yeah. and, and, which is good. The the hospital is doing an amazing job, you know, keeping all of us safe. Yeah. Um, you know, every every morning I go in, I get screened. Uh, we wear our masks. <laughs> Shit. From the time you get in there to the time you go home. So, you know, like nine hours because I work right. nine hour days. Yeah. Uh, hey, Nikki. Hey, Wayne. How you doing? So. But yeah, um, and, and it's, some people don't know, but I work at the VA hospital here in town. So, but uh, it's it's they're doing good, you know they're they're doing good and keeping all of us safe and the nurses and pretty yeah, much I mean, you know for um, I think I think Florida in general did pretty well. Um, yeah, we you know I think South Florida got, got hit pretty bad. Um, I hear a lot of that is because they're not really listening and <laughs> they're not really doing the things that that's part of it. And, and where do the cruise ships come in at mostly? Right. Absolutely. Right. So, I mean, you, you kind of expect it. And then on top of that, you know, with Lauderdale and, and West Palm and all that, you yep. get all the folks coming in from New York as well. So, yep. Uh, yep. you know, so there's a lot, there's a lot to that too, but, um, but, uh, I was going somewhere with that. Oh, I was going to say, um, <laughs> you know, you were saying, I was saying that this this time has flown by. Um, yeah, you're right. You know, um, you you've been working, so you probably you know that, that time crunch doesn't happen to you as much. Um, but I, you you did. I think you even mentioned you even said that you you know you're lucky. And I and I gotta I gotta put that out, man. Like I am. It's you're extremely lucky. A lot of us are. You know, I'm I'm extremely lucky that I have um, that I'm in the job that I'm in and that I have a great owner who is still keeping us employed, even though we're not really, I'm not really doing anything. You know, I, I've, I've flown three times in the last two and a half months. You know what I mean? Right. Um, you know, and, and I, you know, my heart goes out to all those folks out there right now they are struggling with because they can't work and then uh, they're not working. And then you go to the, you know, you're going to your local government, your state government to help you out with, with unemployment and they're failing and dropping the ball there with, 40 something percent of people not getting their, their claims, you know? So, uh, I don't want to dive too far into this, but yeah, well, you, you know, know uh, two things I'm going to, number one, I'm going to say hi to my mom. She just came <laughs> on You gotta do that. and, and, uh, Nikki, Nikki says she needs a day off too. So she's been working as well. Yeah. And which is awesome. I mean, because, you know, small business, yep. you know, uh, they've, they've been doing their best, you know, to stay afloat and, and, Apparently, you know, because uh, I you know, I have not actually seen them or talked to them in weeks, which yeah. is kind of crazy because mm -hmm. we, we were talking every day almost. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, they seem to be doing well. They have bikes coming in. They're doing some painting. They're doing some work on the bikes. So um, looks like they're going well. Everything's going OK for them right now. And, um, and I hope hope that other small businesses are doing the same. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and that, you know, I, I, we'll, we'll kind of move on. I don't want to drag this on too much, but um, I hope that uh, as things are starting to at least open up a little bit, um, that it, it kind of helps out these, uh, these small businesses, because I know, you know, I went yeah. to, I went to the, our, my local brewery here. That's uh, one of my favorites. And I, you know, speaking to the owner and he's like, yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing okay and we're hanging on. He's like, but if this thing goes anything past the end of May, he's like, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, wow. And it, that would be, that would be sad to want. Cause I mean, you know, 
it's a great brewery and, and it's surrounded by, you know, and we're surrounded by a lot of great breweries here in Dunedin, but, but it'd be sad if, it, if, if that happens. So, um, so with that, while this stuff is kind of wrapping up and we're kind of starting to see the, the, the end of this, I don't know how right. we got on this topic, but anyways, I know um, <laughs> from we, 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 we went squirrel like crazy here. Um, but, uh, but no, what I'm going to say and end it with this is, is, just because things are starting to relax and things are starting to open, remember that there are still places out there uh, that aren't able to open. So if you're able to, uh, to, uh, to buy something from them, uh, right. do that, you know, like the breweries, for instance, are offering to go stuff. So if you can, if you can get something to go from these businesses that can't open right now, uh, do that, keep that going until they can finally start getting themselves going. So anyways, we digress. <laughs> that, yeah, I was going to say that, that, that. I think we're good. <laughs> so back so, to motorcycle um, safety yeah, real so back, quick. <laughs> absolutely. Um, um, look twice, save a life. Yep. You know, let's let's may as well say that out there. Uh, yeah, I, I know. Think, I, I think the way ahead. that we kind of came into this topic was I was saying how it seems like yesterday we just talked about motorcycle yes. safety awareness. Uh, and here we are again, right, in May. And the thing to remember, right, is – Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month is kind of every month in Florida, right? Because yes. we don't we don't really have a riding season in Florida. Our our riding season is all year round, right? Correct. Um, it's very very rare that people you know people don't winterize their bikes in Florida. Basically, they, they you know that's just the way it is. Uh, other states, you know, up north, for instance, they have riding seasons. So May just typically happens to be the month that everybody kind of starts to get back out of starting to warm up things. So that's why May Absolutely. Is motorcycle safety awareness. But uh, but every month should be at least, and especially here in Florida, because there's so many, you know, because we ride all the time. But uh, right. you know, one three seven, look, you know, look twice, save a life. Um, uh, as riders, you know, you gotta you gotta do it too. It's not, you know, you can't be you can't be expected upon the the cage drivers to to be safety for you, right? To, to be right. looking out for you. You hope that they're looking out for you, but you've got to do everything that you can to make sure that you're safe, right? Um, slow down, right? We don't, we, we're not in a hurry. We're, we're out there enjoying the bike. Slow down, enjoy your yeah, ride, man. you know? That's make it. Make sure, you know, the biggest thing, man, and and I, I think I've gotten better at this over the years, but keeping an eye on what's going on around you. Right. That's I think that's that's the biggest thing, man, is <laughs> remove those baffles, Phil says. <laughs> Absolutely. Loud pipes save lives, right? Um but uh but yeah, you know, making sure that you're you're paying attention to what's going on. And one four, right? Always ride defensively. Ride your you know, ride your ride. Yeah. Um making sure, you know, looking out ahead of you. You know, I, I don't know I don't know if it was motorcycle safety awareness month last year or not that I brought the story up. I was I was on my bike going to my parents' house and I was, I was heading down a road. It's a, a, you know, two way, two lane, two way road. And I saw a car that was at an intersection coming on to the road. She yep. was making a left-hand turn and I happened to have a car in front of me and I watched that car and I could, you know, as I'm watching the car, I'm going, She's going to pull out. I don't know why I thought that. I just, I had that feeling. Yeah, and I actually started slowing down. And sure as shit, she pulled out in front of that car. And he, they te you know, he T-boned her. And it was a gnarly, gnarly accident. Wow. Luckily, everybody was okay. But the crazy part about that is that I should have been in front of that car. Because normally on those rides, I, on You're that passing. road, I'm passing people trying to get, you know, get in front of everybody. And that day, I just I was enjoying the ride. I had the music on. And I was just enjoying what I was doing, and luckily it was because uh, I, I would have I would have been on the receiving end of that car, you know. So, um, so my point is, is you know, enjoy the ride. Keep an eye open, man. Always play chess. You're playing. You're playing. your chess master. You're playing chess on a bike, man. Right. Think. Think. Four or five moves ahead. What is that car doing? What is this guy doing that just pulled out in the traffic? Does he see me? You know, all those things you got to be thinking. I mean, hell, think about think about your your little your little scuffle. Oh, that was yeah, last year, man. That was crazy, you know. And yeah. I knew he was pulling out. 
and I had nowhere to go. Yeah, so. I mean, you couldn't do anything, but you know, nope. those just little things like that. You know, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be the 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 purveyor of your own safety. If you're not out there making sure that you're good, who you know who is basically nobody head on a swivel. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, that's, that's the only way to ride. That's right, man. So um, um, Connie, Connie just mentioned May is motorcycle awareness. Yeah, we we've been trying to preach that Connie. <laughs> just saying, um, you know, <laughs> and here's you know just some just some really basic stuff here. I and mean, most of us who've been riding for a long time know that. But um, excuse me, wow. Don't don't rush when going through an intersection. No. That's that's probably to be honest with you. Every time I ride, that is my number one fear. Right. Period. That somebody's going to blow a, a stop sign, blow a red light, and either T-bone me or I'm going to T-bone them. Hey, Eric, what's up, bud? I was about to say, hey, look, Eric's on. Um, um, but that's that's my biggest fear, man. So so be careful when you're going through intersections, right? Another right. one, going from the road to a parking lot. How many accidents do you see? I mean, just even car accidents, right? Cars pulling into a parking lot and they yeah. hit each other. Um Turning left, that's that's an obvious one, right? How many people take the uh, bikes right away? Yeah. You know. um, let's see. <laughs> Eric, miss your ugly mug too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's you good. Know, uh, you know, when you were saying turning into parking lots. Oh, go yeah. ahead. No, no, go for it. I was just going to say because of the gravel. And, and here uh, in Pasco County where I live um, – there's a couple roads. They have big gravel um, roads. That's the the yeah. pavement is actually big gravel roads. I don't know what the hell, but uh, all that gr gravel is loose and it's come up. There is literally six inches deep of gravel right outside here at Aaronwood. You don't know how many times I got to tell the one four, hey, stay off it, bro. Stay off it. You know, yeah. just you know, go slow when you're coming through this. I I used to lay into that turn coming in and going out if the light was green. Not anymore, man. Not it's, anymore. No, nah, you got to you got to be up because I've been trying to get a hold of Pasco County and get them to to fix that. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, hey. <laughs> what were you going to say? No, I was going to say you know two basic ones, and this goes. So the first one goes for for both cage, you know, cages and and bikes. Right. Check your blind spots. Yes. Your blind spots are big. I mean, we have blind spots on the bike, right? Especially if you're, you know, especially if you're in a helmet. If you're in a full face helmet, you've got some pretty, pretty good blind spots. So, you know, always double check. And especially if you're in a cage, man, how, you know, some cars are worse than others. Kim's, Kim's little car, believe it or not, right. has some of the worst blind spots in that thing. And, oh, that is. Yes. Absolutely. You know, and if, if you're not, if you're not looking, man, um, you know, luckily, and I, you know, here's, here's something I don't know. Maybe you know the answer to this. I don't know. Um, so like my truck, my new truck that I just got has uh, blind spot detectors, right? So if somebody's right. in your blind spot, it's, it's sad because it, I've become so dependent on those now that when I no. get into a, uh, like a rental car yeah. when I'm on the road, I, sometimes I forget, oh shit, I need to, you know, I need to look back. Cause I don't, cause in the, in the truck, I don't really need to. But what I was going to say is I haven't yet noticed if it will detect the motorcycle. It does. I haven't, I, it doesn't, it does. yeah, because I haven't yeah. had, I haven't had that situation yet. So, well, I, I'm on the road at five, between five fifteen and five thirty every morning. Yeah. I see them. I see those lights on the mirrors Do turn on. Yeah. yeah. When I, as soon as I get a certain distance from the rear bumper, which is at least a car length back, it's crazy. It yeah, detects yeah. me. It'll get me. So, now well, there you go. It is my bike, which is a little bit bigger, the road glide, right. you know. Sure. Maybe yeah, yeah. smaller bike, maybe a, a maybe it won't. I don't know. Um, but it yeah, you know, and, and then the and then the last thing here, and and we'll move on. But the last thing is, is uh, one that you'll you'll enjoy for me uh, putting it out there to everybody is put your brain bucket on, man. Yes. Did you hear that, Phil? <laughs> uh, yeah. Put your. Uh, <laughs> put your uh, brain bucket on. Put your wait. Look, I I I don't like wearing helmets either. It's, I I enjoy the, mm -hmm. the the air and the wind and everything else. But uh, they got some really nice DOT half helmets now that don't look terrible. 
So no, nah, man, we we all have one. Yep. I so, have I have to buy one for the one four yet. Throw it. Uh, throw your throw your helmet on, and um, and stay safe, man. Because I mean, Absolutely. how many? You know, just in this art, this quick article that I found here, and it's an old one, but um, they estimated that in 2015, like I said, it's an old one, but in 2015, they estimated that 740 lives could have been saved had that person been wearing a helmet. Right. So, um, so just think well, about that what, next, time you, next time you throw your leg over the bike. Right. It would have saved me 13 staples in the head. Yeah, but then, but then I wouldn't have been called the one three. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't have had ADD and fucking everything else that you got. Oh so. no, no, I got, I have ADD. That's from when I was a kid, man. That's, there's no getting rid of that. You, uh, okay, that and TBI and, and everything else. <laughs> the TBI, I have two of those. <laughs> so, but um, no, I have uh, ADHD, which is the hyperactive part of it. So yeah, gotcha. that's why I bounce off the freaking walls. Um. <laughs> So with that, guys, um, if you're if you're in a cage, because you know, like myself, I I do I don't I don't ride a bike twenty four seven. So uh, if you're in the cage, just remember keep keep an eye out for everybody. Um, if yes. you're uh, if you're on a bike, do the same. Keep an eye out for everybody. Make sure that you know where everybody's going because if you don't, it could be the last ride that you guys ever take. So um, <laughs> just stay on that, man. Um, That's right. Phil right, says he, so, he said, said we, he knew we were going to yell at him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, okay, so we 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 kind of led this show with this. Um, a, a new friend of ours, a new friend of the show, um, Lady Phoenix Creations. I'm going to yep. uh, link her link her website here so that everybody can go check her out. Yep. Um, we've used we've used Lady Phoenix um, for several things that we've done. Right. Uh, she's made a couple of our shirts. Uh, she made, um, she made our koozies. Yes, she did. All uh, 600 koozies, all, or a thousand all, of them. All thousand of them, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, she made our koozies, which I think we're finally down to the, the, the last like few. What'd you do? No, I have a box. Oh yeah. I we're down think. to the, we're down to the last few on those. So, um, but yeah, so we we've we've uh we've used lady phoenix for for a lot of things and uh and sam over at lady phoenix is just awesome we uh yes. we we can't say enough about her so uh so we're very happy to to bring her along uh on the uh on the rock and road show family the rock and road show team and um we were talking about a uh keyword uh that yep. we would have in the show today and whoever can can uh, feed that back to us um, will be the winner of one of the giveaways that Sam from Lady Phoenix has given us to uh, give to our fans. So um, we got a couple of things. I think, do you want to, do you want to show everything or do you just want to well, show a couple? I'm, I'm, I'm going to show a couple of them. And uh, okay. out of the, out of the four that I show, cause I have eight, you can pick one. Okay. okay. The, and so, um, we'll get to the uh, thing after I show all these. Okay. How's that, that? That'll work. That'll work. All right. Okay. So I hope you can see good or well enough. Um, I hope this, you see good. <laughs> I hope you see good. <laughs> I know. Perfect English, right? Uh huh. So this is a coffee thermos type gimmick here. Um, and that is uh, sublimate, sublimated on there, I believe, is what she says. It, this one has to be hand washed. It says bikers only, free parking in the rear. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's not too bad. Yeah, All right, so that's bad. one. No, that's one. Um, hey Dan, what's going on? Dan Lindbergh. Hi, hey Dan. This is number two. Uh, nice little coffee cups. And uh, Lady Phoenix Creation. She can make anything. She makes shirts. Uh, these bandanas, all kinds of crazy things, whatever you want. Yeah, while, you're, while you're saying that, so uh, beer mugs, coffee cups, tumblers, wine cups, custom shirts, onesies, tote bags, koozies, uh, signs, vinyl decals, banners, leggings, etch, all kinds of stuff. So, and I like this one. This is number four today. The old so. school, old school Harley. Yeah. 
I think it's a Harley. It looks like it. I, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Either that or it's a custom bike that somebody decided to build. There you go. But um, out of those four, you'll win your choice of one. That was three, wasn't it? Huh? That was three, wasn't it? No, I should. I missed one while I was looking at the other thing. Yeah, three. I, I showed three coffee cups and then the uh, okay. the tumbler. All right. So. So, so whoever yeah. can, uh, yeah. Go for it. So okay. So what was the name of the ride that that Cindy and I took? Um, Sunday, we named it something. Yeah, we we kind of gave it a name. It was a ride uh, for something. So if, if anybody, while we're while we're kind of wrapping up this thing, um, except will, Dan uh, Lindbergh, he can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anybody can throw that back to us here, uh, you guys will will win one of one of the four items that the uh, one three put up. Uh, you just let us know which one you want, and uh, we'll get with you, get your address, and we'll send it out to you guys. Uh, okay. Connie, you need business cards and promo items. Um, she can do it. Not, uh, can she do business cards? I believe she can. Yep. All right. So, Connie, we'll put you – just go ahead and um, check that link out, and uh, or we <laughs> can put you in touch with Sam as well. So, HD Racer got it. It's a picnic ride. It was a picnic yes! ride. Yes. HD Racer, he knew. Yes, it so, is a picnic. Uh, AC, we'll get uh, one three. We'll get with you. Get your address, and he'll get that sent out to you. Which one do you want uh, to get them out to you? So you got the uh, you got the tumbler. You yeah, got the Harley uh, Harley one. coffee mug. Yep. Two. I missed the third one, so I don't I don't know what it was. Three. So the little chopper chopper coffee mug or the uh, the old blueprint school four. old school old school bike. So one of those four. Let us know. We'll get that sent out to you. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try, uh, we're going to try do this do every that. week. Yeah, we'll try and do that every week. So we'll have something to give, uh, give away every week. So, um, so one, you got to watch the show. Yep. And number two, you got to, uh, you got to pay attention. So, pay attention. Um, yeah. and by the attention way, I needed to, to say hi to my sister. My sister joined from California. I just saw her. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So hi Debbie. Um, uh, so yeah, so with that, guys, uh, check out Lady Phoenix Creations if you guys need. Uh, HD says the Harley mug, so uh, so we'll get okay. on that. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Um, so, like we said, if you guys need anything, uh, shirts, coffee mugs, glass, anything like that, um, she did tell us that she could pretty much do anything. Um, she will put anything on anything uh, within reason. Uh, obviously. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. there's some there's some stipulations there, obviously, but I don't think any of our uh, listeners would be that bad. So nope. um, her motto says, if you can dream it, I can make it. So so there you go. Uh, so check out, you know, give give uh, give Sam a call, send her an email, let her know that we sent you. And uh, I'm sure she'd be able to hook you guys up with whatever you guys need. And yeah. Connie, like I said, we'll uh, we'll get in touch. and. Um, we will uh, we'll pass the information on to her, and uh, you guys can link up and figure out uh, what she can do for you. So, yep. um, and, and you know, I did want to say this, and, and I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I would be um, each one of these items were upwards between fifteen and and twenty dollars. So, you know, and you're getting them free now. If this goes well, <laughs> if this goes well, and you know enough people like that, we're giving something away every week. Um, Sam has agreed to personalize items for us, you know, so if you guys wanted something that was personalized, but after these eight are gone, um, you can, we can do that. And, uh, what we'll do is we'll just win it and then I'll con get you in contact with, uh, Sam and, uh, allow her to tell you how much you can do with it. So that's it. Well, there you go. So, Sam, thanks. Lady Phoenix, welcome to the Rock and Road Show family. Absolutely. Pleasure Absolutely. to have you. Hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so with that, guys, how about that? A show that we really didn't have any idea where it was going turned into a 43-minute show. Well, we, you know, I mean, you say that, but we kind of did. Cause I, 
you know, we knew what we were going to talk about. <laughs> we had, we had ideas. Let's not lie to anybody. So, we had ideas, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, um, it, it's, uh, it, it really, I to, you know, to be absolutely honest, it really helps, uh, having everybody, um, participate in the show. It makes, it makes the show a little more fun. Yes. Um, and it, yeah. it gives us it gives us the opportunity to uh, to play off of your guys' uh, comments and things like that to help drive oh, yeah. the conversation even further. So uh, so we do really appreciate that. Um, let's see. Just to wrap up, you know, just to wrap up the show. Thanks everybody for all the kind words. Really appreciate it. Uh, just to wrap up the show tonight, um, like we were saying, uh, this is probably one, if not the last probably one of the last uh, shows that we'll be doing like this uh, yeah. via Skype, so forth and so on. Um, My couch is big enough that we can be six feet apart, bro. <laughs> we'll have to get a wide, a, a wide camera, but no, uh, that's, I think, I think as things kind of start to, uh, to kind of go, you know, the way that it looks like they're going, uh, I think that uh, me and uh, me and the one three will be back together uh, at the one three bar and getting absolutely. That going. Um, we have been in talks with some other folks to do a show, uh, kind of an on location show. Yep. Um, which we're, uh, we're kind of batting around. The, the problem is, is that the place closes before our show time. So we might play with changing the day and doing it on a weekend during the middle of the day or something like that. So we're still, we're still working that out. We, we definitely, definitely want to do something like that. It might be even an add on show. Maybe one week you'll get two shows, you know, yeah. that would be, that would be pretty cool. Um, I, I did want to um, thank our buddy Andy from uh, Skyview Drone Photography. Absolutely, yep. Uh, he is our photographer, and uh, we did book him for next week uh, <laughs> to help us go with one of our things. If I have any realtors out here, um, please look him up. He does. Or if you know any realtors, or if you know any realtors, um, look him up. Spread the word. He does some amazing stuff with his drone and and. Uh, takes videos and pictures of your houses and the guy's awesome. Or even if you're just selling your house on your own, you don't want a realtor. He can do that for you. So absolutely. Yep. But uh, um, I want to throw him out there. So dun, dun, dun. let me, you're, you're hitting it up already. Aren't you? I'm and trying to trying to get if, it. Probably. If Andy's still on, he can, he can put his own link up there. I would appreciate it. Um, I saw him earlier. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm pretty I, sure, yeah. You, you got anything else? Skyview drone photography, right? Correct. All right. There we go. Um, no, I was just saying, you know, I was just going to say that, uh, you know, um, I think we should, we're, we're, we're going to start filming the, uh, the, the reboot, so to speak, of, of the show, uh, of <laughs> our, our, our other show idea that we've had that we're, that we're going to finally start bringing everybody. So we're going to start filming that uh, hopefully uh, next weekend. So, um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I think I'm going to, I'll, we'll probably, as we're putting that stuff together, we'll probably tease that a little bit to give you guys an idea of what, you know, what, what's coming. Um, right. So you guys can get a, so basically uh, wet the appetite, so to speak, get you guys ready for that. So yeah, um, other than that, man, stay safe, guys. Uh, I know things are kind of starting to uh, to wind down, but um, but yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be out and about uh, very sh very soon. So um, so let's let's keep everything uh, let's let's basically keep everything safe so that we can uh, come out of our uh, come out of our uh, hiding and, and enjoy yeah. things. So um, yeah. So with that, man, I got nothing. If you I'm got good, nothing. Bro. You nope. guys keep it rocking. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you guys keep, next time. Keep the rubber side down, baby. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.